Welcome back to the episode 5.11 of our video course Parallel Programming and Optimization with Intel Xeon Phi Processors. We're continuing the discussion of optimization of multi-threaded applications. In this episode, we will talk about improving the application performance by proper logical thread placement relative to physical threads, cores, sockets, and so on. OpenMP threads are streams of instructions, in other words, programs, that run concurrently and share the virtual memory space of their common process. The reason why multi-threading with OpenMP improves performance is that different threads are scheduled on different cores, and this utilizes the multi-core parallelism in Intel platforms. However, by default, threads are not bound to any specific cores. Furthermore, the operating system may command threads to move to different cores. While this migration of threads may be a good behavior for threads in service applications, it is bad for computing applications. That is because computing applications are sensitive to data locality, and when a thread migrates from one core to another, it loses the cached data that it was working on and this data must be read from memory again. Additionally, free roaming threads do not allow the application to take advantage of caches shared between two or four logical processors per core or to control thread contention on memory controllers. Intel OpenMP has a built-in control for thread affinity, in other words, for binding OpenMP threads to physical cores or to logical processors within the physical cores or to sets of logical processors. This binding, if used correctly, can significantly improve application performance. The most convenient way to control affinity is through the environment variable KMP affinity. The variable KMP affinity has many arguments, of which the most important is type. Type can take values compact and scatter, or for Xeon Phi platform, it can also take the value balanced. Those types are patterns with which OpenMP threads are bound to cores. Pattern compact means that threads with successive numbers are placed on the platform as close to each other as possible, on neighboring logical processors of a core or, if it is not possible, on nearby cores. Scatter means that threads with successive numbers are placed as far from each other as possible, on different sockets or, if it is not possible, on different cores. Balanced makes sense for two or three threads per core on Xeon Phi, and with this pattern two or three threads are placed on the same core and the next thread goes to the next core. Affinity patterns may be modified by setting the numerical parameters permute and offset. Permute changes the order in which the levels are enumerated in the hierarchical structure of processors, packages or sockets, cores, and logical processors, or hyperthreads. Offset allows to begin the pattern compact or scattered from a core other than zero. The different types of affinity works for different types of applications, and we will discuss it in a minute. Besides a pattern, KMP affinity supports explicit affinity masks, which involves specifying a list of OS procs to which threads must be bound. Affinity may also be disabled. KMP affinity also allows to set verbosity, respecting or not respecting affinity of the initial thread, and granularity, which is whether threads are allowed to migrate between logical processors in a core or are bound to specific logical processors. For performance optimization, it usually makes sense to combine setting of affinity pattern and setting the number of threads. Most often you will find that those two rules of thumbs can be used for best performance. For bandwidth-bound applications, the best solution is using one thread per core and affinity of type scatter. This rule works both for Xeon and Xeon Phi. For compute-bound applications, the best affinity setting is compact with two threads per core on Xeon and balanced with two, three or four threads per core on Xeon Phi. Here is an example of how affinity setting improves performance. Here, we are running the application from episode 5.10 which sums elements along each row of a matrix. This application is bandwidth-bound because we perform only one addition operation on every number that we stream from memory. The system on which we run contains 16 physical CPU cores with hyperthreading enabled, so a total of 32 logical processors. First, we set the number of threads to 32 and affinity to none, 
which is actually equivalent to not setting those variables at all. We run the application four times, and different runs show different performance from as low as 42 gigabytes per second to as high as 54 gigabytes per second. This is because the distribution of threads across cores was favorable in some runs, but poor in other runs. After that, we set the number of threads to 16, which means that we will be using one thread per core. We set affinity to type scatter, which will spread the threads evenly across 16 cores in the two CPU sockets of this processor. As we can see, performance results are more uniform and also high in the range from 52 to 55 gigabytes per second. In this example, we set affinity for a compute bound application. This application computes double precision general matrix matrix multiplication using the dgem function in Intel MKL. This workload is compute bound because in matrix matrix multiplication optimized for efficient cache usage, memory traffic is small compared to arithmetic workload. We will run this application on an Intel Xeon 5 coprocessor using the tool MicNative Lodex. First, we run it without setting affinity and the performance is around 350 gigaflops per second. Then we set the affinity pattern to compact. To do that, we pass the environment variable KMP affinity as an argument of MIC native Lodex. The performance jumps up by more than a factor of 2 to 770 gigaflops per second. You can experiment with the argument verbose of KMP affinity to see that the default affinity setting on Xeon Phi has the type compact. Before we finish this section, one more note on affinity control on Xeon Phi. You can use the variable KMP place threads to control the number of threads per core and the number of cores used. This environment variable is complementary to KMP affinity. See compiler documentation or our book for more details. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below this video. Thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you in the next episode.